Professor Rochette, yes. why should we care about Ibn al-Hadi? It is a very long, long history. If you are interested in history of mathematics, mainly, and then application of mathematics in other sciences, you cannot avoid the work of Ibn al-Haytham, either in Arabic or in Latin. Because you cannot understand what happened later on. For instance, if you read Kepler, or read Descartes, and others, and Huygens in this period, you cannot understand what they are doing, either in mathematics or in optics. Uh, without knowing what Ibn al-Haytham did. So basically, <coughs> unless, we, we under, unless we have this as a basis, it even it contextualizes our work today. Uh, yes, in a way, I mean, in a comparative way, that is from one side, and also uh, as such. I mean, to understand how the invention of the new disciplines and new theories had been done. Mm -hmm and how to, I mean, how to build a new scientific generation uh, in this kind of countries. Ibn al-Haytham was an empiricist. He believed in looking at data, he look, believed in looking at phenomena, discussing it, coming out, you know, synthesizing it, and then coming out with an idea. This is the modern scientific tradition. You know, you predict, you observe, you discuss, you synthesize the knowledge. And Ibn al-Haytham was a master at it. He's the father of modern science, of empiricism and logical thinking in that long before Bacon and some of the other uh, uh, people whom we ascribe as being modern scientists. The problem is Ibn al-Haytham, and this is quoted in the UNESCO website on Haytham, where he tells people not to just get received wisdom from teachers, question. In other words, Haytham tells people, question authority, learn to think for yourself. And unfortunately, our schools are like factories. You know, students come in, they take a set of exams, they graduate. They don't understand concepts. They don't understand uh, the basics in it. They may be able to do great problems. They will know what equation to put in, but they don't understand the science behind it. See, if someone actually does something, they will remember it for the rest of their lives. But if you just listen to me, the professor, standing up uh, uh, you know, at the blackboard saying, <laughs> you know, F equals MA, they're not going to under, you know, remember it for very long. There's a, there's a great quote by uh, an American physicist called Richard Feynman, yeah. where he said, I'd far rather uh, have questions that can't be answered than answers that can't be questioned. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. A and I think that's a fantastic quote yeah. to, 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 to explain what the scientific spirit is yeah. and what we're not teaching. Professor Kamel, is, is that what we see happening at, at, at Sesame? Uh, that we have the science of Ibn al-Hatham taking shape within that project, which you're a part of, uh, in Jordan? Yeah, exactly. St. Catherine Radiation Facility is simply like a circle. But inside that circle, there are lots of complexations. There are lots of optics, uh, mechanics, geometry, uh, electricity, engineering. So the optical systems are the basics of any synchrotron radiation facility all around the world. The idea for SESAME is actually uh, double-wedged. One of them is to foster the excellence of science in the Middle East. And the other one is to bridge the gaps between the uh, nations of this uh, zone. Using science exactly. as a way to overcome the, the, all the, political the other, the, other exactly. the political backdrop. Exactly. So there's, there's, there's a way of, of, of scientist to scientist yeah. seeing the other as part of the solution exactly. for understanding the science and the results of Exactly. of our research. Simply there are no labels inside Sesame. So you can find on one table Arabs, Israeli, Turkish, Iranians, they are all talking with the language of science. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much as I saw, uh, till now they succeed. I mean they put everything aside and they only talk uh, with science, about science and how to develop, how to grow and how to build uh, a community that can hopefully overcome the conflicts and uh, to do something 
Uh, good for humanity. Rewarded. Yeah, good for humanity. Good exactly. for humanity. Exactly. Right. 